you you're playing the quiet game? Yeah, again, again, again. Really? We just got on the road. You want to play the quiet game all the way to school? Yeah. Okay. If that's what you want to do. On your mark. Get set. Be quiet. Good morning, everybody. We are up and early, as early as early could be, because the school just wants to make people miserable and wake them up at early o'clock. I don't understand this. I guess it wasn't a big deal when I was a kid, but this is definitely way too early. And I think we missed the sweet spot. There is a perfect time if we leave the house, we have little traffic, we get to the school right at the start of pickup, I mean a uh, drop off, so we just kind of slip right in there and, and I'm on my way home like super fast. And I do not think we made that because that means I would have been dropping them off very like right now. But uh, that's okay. I just hope that we're not late and I don't run into too many traffic lights because then I got to walk them in. And that's just a big old pain in the butt. They're still playing the quiet game. Raise your hand if you're winning. Raise your hand if you're not winning. Raise your hand if you're not winning. Ah, you're not winning? Oh, somebody just spoke and lost a quiet game. <laughs> I tricked you. You tricked me? Okay, well, you just lost the game, so it wasn't a very good trick. Congratulations, you are the winner. If you want to, hold on, I have to give the winner her prize. Good job. Hey, sweetie, you want a cookie? I can't hear you. Did you, did you want a cookie? Yeah. Ha ha ha! Somebody just lost that quiet game. <laughs> what quiet game? You won! Yes! Fist bump. What quiet game? You want to play again? Okay, well, one of you've won. You've both won the Quiet Game once. This last time decides who is the Quiet Game champion. On your mark, get set, quiet! So it's a little bit out of the way, but look what Ocala finally got! Oh, it's about jangles! It's about jangles. I'm excited. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Friday, and I am here with my assistant, mixing up the grain for the horses for today. Somebody asked yesterday which horses were still here, so I'm going to show you. Lady the Pony, Stroker, Tuna, and Baby Beta, Pure, of course, and Cinderella. So I guess I haven't told you guys about this yet because we haven't been talking in the time that this happened, but Gracie is currently on breed lease in Virginia to my friend Darcy, where she has been confirmed pregnant to her stallion. So Gracie's going to have a baby. It's going to be amazing. I'm really, really excited. It's a very, very good match, and I think they're going to produce something awesome. This baby will belong to Darcy, but assuming things go well and we decide to go that way, Gracie will be bred back after she has her baby and she will have another baby and that one will be for me. Also, other exciting things are in the works, are in the works, are in the works, but um, if you follow us on Instagram, you know what they are. If you don't, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Say something then. Parenting is having a disgusting house all the time. I am supposed to say that parenting is having a disgusting house all the time. Apparently. I have a vlog today. Excuse me, somebody took the drums from somebody. Sorry about that, somebody took the drums from somebody. Whew, okay, what were we talking about? Nothing. Thought it was dirty houses and pants and stuff. Oh yeah, we're the worst. And you haven't vlogged yet today? Yeah, the worst. So we are cooking up dinner. Uh, we typically have one to two dinners these days. Sometimes we have the big family dinner and sometimes we have kid dinner and Amanda and I have grown up food because occasionally we want to have steak and lobster. Mm. Mm, sounds good. I want to be cliche like the CrossFit people, the vegan people, and talk about you know the parenting stuff all the time. Because 
but like, that's what's happening in our life right now. That is true. Like, the whole cliche is about being parents is totally true. And part of the reason the house is so gross right now is because I've started editing when I normally clean. <laughs> that is very true. I took away her clean time and turned it into editing time. It's true. LaFou. Who really it's just like the kitchen and the... I just cleaned up it's the dining room. It's just like everywhere where we get And the floor. It's not the rooms we don't use. You gotta admit though, the laundry service is awesome. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Amanda, did you did you pick it up on the way on to get the kids yeah, on, on the way. way back? On the way to get the kids, you got it the laundry? It was very convenient, I'm not gonna lie. I'm but telling you, we need to do that for now on. It's just an excuse to be lazy. I don't, I really don't think we It is not an excuse to be lazy. It is an excuse to be lazy because if we could just like, you know, get our act together. Opportunity costs, sweetie. Our time is worth more. Somebody else can do the laundry. Well, what is my time worth, huh? Your time is worth a lot. You're revealing all of the mess. <laughs> Would you rather be doing laundry or, you know, doing stuff with the kids? Yeah. Oh no, dinner's yeah! been taken over by the creepy fish yeah! people. Oh no. Dad, dad, help me. All right, do your best silly face. Whoa, that's freaky looking. All right. Dad. All right, do your best crazy face. Dad, look. Is that it? No, do a crazier one. What is Dad doing? <laughs> they they do your best silly face. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. Do your, <laughs> your silly face. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> what did you do? He <laughs> made a true power to me. Your spaghetti? Yeah. Okay. No! You, want me to be the you have a very silly Anybody daddy. Anybody want any more spaghetti? Yeah. I'm going to up here. Ew! <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mom. Don't you turn that on! <laughs> turn it fast! Keep turn it, it fast? No. What do you think will happen? <laughs> And the kids have just gone down. I read the, I'm reading the boxcar children to them right now, which I remember from my childhood being a really cool thing. And so now I'm reading it to them as they fall asleep. And I'm remembering how much I love it. So good. The kids saddle came. They have a new saddle now that will match the bridle and hopefully actually fit their bony. The other one is a little bit too narrow, but they're so little and they do such minor riding that I haven't really worried about it too much. But I am glad that they will have one that fits now. Puppies are accompanying me as they do. Come on, guys, let's go. You're so excited. I can't remember whether or not I mentioned the fact that I'm going to go feed horses now. My brain doesn't really work anymore. Mom brain. For some reason, Fez has decided he needs to be in his water or splashing in it to drink it. Is that good, buddy? <laughs> You're so cute. Look at you, big giant puppy. Are you just so happy? You're just so happy. Who's a good boy? Ha <laughs> ha! 